What think they're going to get out of control. These guys will get out of control. There's a, oh, the exit's okay. blocked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can spiritual disposition um, or you know, psychological disposition and the people that you want to combat or alter rather than combat are the resentful people who from the old men. Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm asking really what's the political strategy here? I mean is it really a move towards a kind of soul craft? Can we, can we create people who just aren't resentful? Uh, uh, you know, um, or, or is there a kind of conversion process that you can see a kind of conversion through love? I mean I'm, I'm thinking of, of, of a Gandhian type of uh, a Gandhi? Gandhi, yeah. Oh, Gandhi, yeah. Uh, the, the uh, well, uh, Soulcraft, uh, uh, we live in a highly political world, so Soulcraft can be part of it, but it's, it's radically insufficient. It's, it's an important part, but it's radically insufficient. Uh, to the, because you live in a world where uh, all kinds of, uh, uh, of limits, uh, accusations, uh, scandals, and so forth are fomented. The difference in my country uh, between the Nixon era uh, and, and the Bush era is, is, is Fox News and the right-wing think tanks. Uh, and, and, I, and, I, and, and as late as 1977, the evangelical movement in the United States was against getting actively involved in politics. So uh, I, I, I think you kind of, I mean, my feeling is that, that you have to kind of pursue a double, uh, at least a double kind of strategy. And I also think that uh, that today, the only kind of uh, what I would call progressive politics uh, is, it, it can be formed or mobilized through a pluralist assemblage. You can't, we don't have kind of classic unified entities to, to deal with, so it's got to be a pluralist uh, assemblage. And, uh, and, and, that, uh, and that we have to kind of work on multiple registers of being while we're doing it. Since uh, I don't think that in politics there's ever a vacuum on the visceral register, I think that you that that you can't say well you can't say as rationalists would do Rawls or Habermas or others have used to say uh, that uh, we we will we will rise above it to a kind of a pure kind of rationality so uh, uh, so so uh, uh, you, you have to kind of work to uh, to construct the pluralist assemblage and you and it has to have a certain degree of militance to it. Uh, and it has to work on multiple registers. It has to work on through tactics of the self, what you would call uh, soul craft, but Foucault and I call it tactics of the self. We like that better. Uh, uh, it has to work through micropolitics, through kind of ventilating the, the, the various levels of, uh, it has to work through the media. I mean, all, all, uh, all young theorists today should uh, become highly skilled in media practices, not just how they work, but how to do them themselves. because. Because politics is so highly mediated, uh, so um, uh, and uh, the the uh, the word conversion certainly doesn't bother me. Uh, I, I can see how people uh, uh, and how I, I myself have gone through a couple, and how people can be converted from. And I, and I think a change in your intellectual orientation involves a little bit more of conversion than it does that it does just responding to a pile of arguments. I've never never met anybody uh, where who was convinced to switch just by a pile of arguments. They they're pertinent but radically insufficient. Uh, so now the and the last thing I can say to you so. So I don't think the soul craft thing is, is, is adequate, but it's pertinent. And the last thing is to, is to be uh, kind of creatively responsive to surprising events. Because uh, surprising events are, are, are periodically coming along, and they always will, if you believe in a world of coming. They, they, uh, it isn't just that those things were surprises then, and now we're, we got it all figured out, we explained them retrospectively, no. Uh, uh, the, you're living forward into mystery again, and so and so, uh, kind of being primed and making your cases and developing these kind of modes of micropolitics, and then uh, responding creatively to surprising events, uh, is is also very pertinent here in my judgment. 
So you, it's, a, it's a very uh, multi-faceted politics. And it can't be, in, from, as I see it, it can't be reduced to one element. Or, or to take too long on your question, uh, 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 <laughs> the reason that it's pro appropriate to study the, the evangelical capitalist resonance machine is that they know how to work on multiple registers of being at the same time. And the academic and, and political left doesn't. They're no good at it. Uh, there are a few exceptions. I'm one of them. No. There are, <laughs> there are a few exceptions. And, and that's the other, I, I think that's another reason to kind of, kind of re-open uh, this relationship w between what you would have called secular orientations and spiritual orientations. Because spiritual orientations are always alert to working on the, the, the different registers of being and how it operates and so forth. Secularism really messed itself up by kind of bailing them. Thanks, anyhow. Yeah? If you were better, you'd pass it back there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can, can you talk about the, um, uh, the um, in increasing intensity in the United States um, in the American political discourse um, marked by anger, uh, fear? And I, I'm not sure. If, if this is a media thing, or if, if it's an image or, or, a, or a substantive thing, but it, it just feels like the the, the 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 discourse, the public discourse, seems to be intensifying and has been probably since the 70s. Um, at least. Can you comment on that? Am I right about that, or, or is that resonate with your experience? And then how do you understand that? Well, um, yes. I, I agree with it entirely. That's why I wrote Capitalism and Christianity, American Style, because I wanted to kind of consolidate that sense that at least from the beginning of the Reagan era until now, uh, and, and, uh, and, and winning elections is, is radically insufficient, to, is, is become, it should be very apparent, radically insufficient to the, to the, uh, uh, the phenomenon. And uh, how to account for it? Uh, uh, well, I think that that if you focus